What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's JJ and Shake'em Up, boys. We're on the road in Northridge as the first place 49ers have taken on the second place Matadors in a huge Big West Rumble. TJ Robinson and the interior defense for Long Beach gonna have to be ready for the local scoring firm of McLemore and Daniel. Rashawn and Lenny both averaging over 15 points for the Matadors, but defense did show up. Well, it just wasn't what the fans wanted to see. Coach Dan Munson said his team was too casual. Well, Coach, an untucked collared shirt is casual. This was an unbuttoned Tommy Bahama shirt and holy jeans. It was just sloppy. 18 turnovers in the first half. It took Northridge 11 minutes to touch double digits. So what's going to get him out of the funk? How about a little barking? That's McLemore and Larry Anderson going at it. And yeah, they both answered the call. McLemore had a team high 9 points in the first half to his team high 15 points for the game, while Larry Anderson just filled it up. 17 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, but it was his running of the point that really turned the tide with a sick Casper Ware on the bench for the majority of the first half. Long Beach had 8 assists in the first half, and this fancy footwork from TJ Robinson put the beach up 9. However, Matador's not going to go quietly. Vinny McGee on the corner like Common for 3. That's going to tie the game, but Long Beach has got some sharp shooters of their own. As Greg Plater GP three of his 14 points, Long Beach goes up five at the half. More fine passing gives TJ an easy deuce on the way to his 10 and 13 double double. The beach goes up 10 early in the second half. But the story of the second half was Michael Lizarraga. The hearing impaired forward went off for a double double of his own, 11 and 11. He had a huge national story done on him this week, and the press clippings must have got him pumped up because he was a beast off the bench and on the boards. Lenny Daniel right here for a pretty little two. 14 points and 9 rebounds for him. Matadors come charging 17-5 run to take the lead with 13-30 left. Long Beach out-rebounded Northridge 43-31, but if you can't put the biscuit in the basket, things are going to stay close. Enter Corey Jackson. Oh, Jackson. Off the bench, 1, 2, 4, 3, 3 separate times. A huge 9 points for Jackson. The bench was feeling it. The beach was feeling it. But... The Matadors, again, hard gosh darn work from Lizarraga, and then a huge three right here from Josh Green, three of his 12, keeps the Matadors close. But what do you do when a team's staying close? You call the closer. Deuces! Casper Ware, throwing up with the flu before this game, came in and scored 13 of his game high, 22 in the second half. Yeah, I see you, C-Dub. And he also went nine for 12 from the free throw line in the second half. That was important because the Matadors were ice cold in their gym. In the last five minutes, they went one for 12. The bench knows how big this one is. The fans who made the drive to Northridge know how big this one is. And the only thing a coach likes more than a bench player waiting for his turn to shine is a true team win. And that's what the 49ers got tonight in Northridge 79-62. With Santa Barbara falling tonight, makes it pretty much a two-team race in the Big West for the top seed between these Long Beach State 49ers and the Cal Poly Mustangs. That showdown in the mid coming up soon. You want all that coverage? Why go elsewhere? This is GazetteSports.com. We are Long Beach Sports.